Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining how I use Play.js and Control Panel to do web development on my iPad Pro. So to start off, you'll need to use a hosting provider that uses cPanel as a file management system. I personally use Bluehost, but any of these other options are great options. cPanel is a file management system where you get a login from your hosting provider and then you can use that inside of the Control Panel app. Play.js is the text editor that I use to write my code. So to jump right into that, I can jump into the project that I'm working on and I can see that I have a file management system, I have a Git repository and documentation, as well as settings where I can adjust the display and customize it. So I can choose from a bunch of different fonts and font sizes and indentation lengths and there's even a light and dark theme so this app is free however i do recommend that you tip the developer if you use the app a lot this is a simple text editor and it works for both html editing and for javascript editing the website that i'll be editing today is right here um, and it, what I'm going to do is add the phrase, hello YouTube, right there. So to do that, I open control panel and I log in using the information that I get from my hosting provider. And once I'm logged in, I have access to the file management system, which includes SQL databases, as well as all the JavaScript code that is run. So if I connect to my file management system and go into the public folder, I have access to all the websites that are used at this domain. So the specific URL that I'm at is index2.html. So if I go to the index2.html file, I can edit all the code that is run on this site. So I could, in theory, do all my development in this but I don't want to do that because this is not a display that I want to look at for a long period of time. That's why I can just bring up play.js right here and edit the code directly from right here and make a simple transition. So to write the new code, I just say, hello YouTube. And then I select it all, copy it. And then I press right here, select all, paste, save. And now when I reload the page over here, it says, hello, YouTube, right there. That's pretty much the whole system. It's that simple. So there are a few drawbacks. So if you're debugging, you don't have access to a console in Safari. So you'll need to use a regular computer for that, as well as uploading files like pictures. So I made this file on my iPad and I screenshotted it but I had to send it to another computer and upload from cPanel on that computer in order to upload the image. But I was able to do a lot of development in just play.js. Play.js is the app that you'll spend the most time in. I can even show you this one file that I was working on, 419 lines of code, and it was all done in play.js. I was able to work outside on my iPad Pro instead of being inside in a dark cold room like most web development is done in. So overall, I would say it's a very useful system to use. I recommend it. If you're going to use it, like the video, subscribe if you'd like, and thank you for watching.